Hi guys, Martin from Tortilla here. So what we thought we'd do while everyone's spending a lot of time at home over the next few weeks is to share with you some sort of tips and tricks, um, some things we do at Tortilla so that you can liven up your meals, uh, make some nice stuff to have while you're sat in the garden in the nice weather with a glass of wine or whatever. So what we thought we'd do, um, I've got my little helper here, Harry, say hi Harry. Hi. Harry's my little sous chef for today. So Harry, before we start, what did we do in the kitchen? Wash your hands. So wash your hands. So we show everybody our clean hands. Very good. Okay, so what we're going to make today is guacamole. So this is something that is our sort of signature dish at Tortilla. Goes with absolutely everything. Um, it's delicious whether you have it with a meal, with meats, with vegetables, or again just sat outside with some chips, um, having a drink and relaxing. So first things first, we're going to do this super quick. The avocados that you use need to be Hass avocados. You can tell Hass avocados because they've got darker skin, quite knobbly skin, they're a bit rounder and a bit darker. And all you do very simply is take off the little stalky bit because we don't want that, put that in our rubbish bin. And then cut it in half, down like that, round. And then when you open it up, you should have a nice, what color is that? Brown. Brown, I think he's talking about the stone, not the flesh. So we'll get rid of the stone because yeah. we don't want that. And then we'll do the same with this one. Again, get that stone out. And then using a spoon, I'm gonna spoon the flesh. How he's gonna help. There we go, into a bowl, like that. And again, mate, spoon that out. Very good. You're a very good helper. There we go. And the last one like that. And then we're going to bash it. So you're going to start mashing. So with a masher, just press down. There we go. And what you don't want is baby food. You don't want to puree it completely. No. No? Pretty much. You do it. You do it then. And then to, to that, you can add pretty much anything. So the classics which we're going to add are diced onion, red onion, white onion, yellow onion, shallot, whatever you've got in the cupboard is fine. So chuck a bit of that in. And then the only other two sort of key ingredients really are lime, fresh lime juice. It takes a lot of lime because it's quite a rich flavour. So we'll chuck a whole lime. I'm not giving you measurements. Although I am spraying my son with lime juice. I'm not giving you measurements because this is a brilliant recipe that you can do what you want with. So if you really like it with lots of lime, put lots of lime in. If you don't like too much lime, don't put a lot of lime in. Nice pinch of salt, Harry. Can you put a pinch of salt in there? And the last classic ingredient is coriander. So just a handful of coriander. Just roughly chopped to be too precise about this. That's probably enough salt, Harry. That's more than enough salt, Harry. And then sprinkle that in. Thank you, mate. That's brilliant. And then what you end up with is a beautiful, classic, simple guacamole like that. And if I taste that, how are you going to taste it? Are you going to try it? No. A bit more lime. And then that on its own, like that, is beautiful. If you want to change it up again, things you can add. Diced tomato if you want, or if you want to get brave, chilli. Personally, I like it like this, just very simple. But if you want it to chuck a bit of tomato in there as well. Chilli, whatever you want to put in. Goes with everything. So have a go, simple. Make it home with the kids, get the little ones involved. Do you enjoy that? Yeah. Okay, enjoy, stay safe, and we'll be back again with another recipe soon. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>